hello guys if you are using linux mint with kde desktop while in session it might be faced a problem that you can share the screen with obs dc if you have obs maybe you are not able to see screen capture if you are using linux mint with kde plasma while in session so let's fix this problem First, we opened the Vert Manager. I have Linux Mint installed on it, so we will install KDE Plasma Desktop, and then we will fix the problem. To fix this problem, it's easy. We just go into download some packages and then the problem will be fixed. So first let's install KDE Plasma Desktop. Here is I wrote the script that can fix the problem if you want to use the script and not waste many time on running the command. So I will show you the script. Here is the script. I will put it in the description if you want to copy it and just run it. But in this tutorial I will go step by step, I will not use my script, so let's go step by step. Let's open terminal. I will make the size of the font bigger to see. I think that's good. Let's make it above. And now are going to update the system. Paste it. Enter the code. and wait until it finished clear and now we are going to install KDE Plasma and the Plasma workspace Wayland this is package it necessarily to run Wayland session And now let's wait until the download finish. Now choose light DM or SSDM. For me, I'm just gonna choose light DM. Since the package is installed, now we should do restart to start Wayland session. So let's reboot the system. Click on this icon. And now you can see Plasma Wayland. Click on it. Now we installed Plasma successfully, but we have some issues. If we open for example file manager we cannot see the screen here above here is no screen so we will fix this and we will fix also OBS because if you install right now OBS you will not be able to record your screen so let's fix them Now let's add OBS Studio repository to install it.
paste the repository of OBS Studio and click enter enter your password click enter again now update the system let's clear the screen and let's download right now OBS Studio copy and paste it enter Y now the OBS Studio is installed on the system let's launch it I'm going to use it only for record click next next applied settings and if I click here I have no screen share so now we're going to solve this problem let's close OBS studio and let's back to our script now we're going to install this VLC plugin copy it back to terminal paste it and enter now let's install next package now let's start demo reload copy it and paste it click enter let's install dbus copy it and paste it it's installed let's start the dbus service and now let's add those packages copy and paste now let's start the wire plumber service copy it and paste it enter now all we need to do just to reboot the system now let's launch OBS Studio again this time we are able to see the screen here and if we open for example the terminal we are also able to say it it's back to OBS Studio and we still not able to see the screen record so let's fix this problem and now let's reboot because I forgot to download this service it's necessarily let's reboot let's slash OBS Studio again and now we are able to see screen share if we clicked on it 
click OK and here you can share your screen and now you are able to record your screen let's click OK and let's start to, to record and it's recording now that was the solution and if you want to do it in an easy way just just copy the screen from my description like this and open your terminal use your favorite editor Vim or Nano name your script anything for example fix fix.ch and click enter paste the script like that and click ctrl o to save and ctrl x to exit now smooth to make your script executable smooth 700 and the name of your script fix.ch and enter now pod dot slash and the name of your script and run it enter your root password click enter to add OBS Studio project repository and the system will re re reboot automatically and then you will get everything fixed And now, as we see, we have this screen share. And you are even you can stop the screen share from here. If we click on it, it will be frozen from here. Let's close it. And you see. That was everything. So if this video was useful to you. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and put a comment. Thank you for watching. I hope this video was useful to you. See you in next video.